Every now and again, it's a good idea for all of us to take a moment to take stock, reflect on where we've been and where we're going. Or at least that's the advice of people who are far more intelligent than I am. But it's probably a good idea for countries as well. After all, it's been 10 years now since the residents of Quebec went to the polls and voted in the last referendum. 10 years since we as a nation came together, sat on our couches, ate chips, and watched as our nation teetered on the brink of total destruction. And of course, since that time, our greatest leaders, the greatest minds this nation could muster have come together to ensure that this country, this land, Canada, is more screwed up now than it was back then. <laughs> Think about it, things are worse. How did that happen? 10 years ago, if you went to Calgary, the bumper sticker said, the West wants in. Now they say, the West wants out. You ask them why, they blame the East. And by East, they mean Ontario, which really drives me nuts, because if you look at a map, Ontario's really more in the middle. East, East is another place. East is a place where if you want any attention at all, you gotta haul the maple leaves down off the flagpoles. And Quebec, if you were a Federalist in Quebec, you could not get elected as a backwoods prostate examiner. And you can't blame the Quebecois. I mean, if you wanted to vote Federalist in Quebec, who are they supposed to vote for? The Liberals are criminals and the Tories, they don't even speak French anymore. Just imagine for a moment that you were 10 years old on referendum night. That means you're 20 years old today. Your entire life experience as a citizen of this country has been growing up watching a nation in crisis management. It's like we get off on it or something. And 20-year-olds, only 38% of them voted in the last election. Well, we know now there's going to be an election any day, so if you're 20, do us a favor. This time, get off the couch and vote, because really, you leave it up to the rest of us, this could be your last chance.